I do this shit for my youngest and my niggas that stuck it. All right, guys. So today we're gonna finally take our baby apart in order to ship. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to be concentrating on the fairings, uh, the gas tank, and the front part as well. If I can get anything else off in which I feel confident, I will. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fairings off. And with that, we're gonna be using a four millimeter and a five millimeter hex, hex socket, uh, a ratchet, and one of these Allen wrenches right here in order to pop these rivets out. So I'm gonna give you guys a, pretty much I'm gonna show you where is it that I'm going to be operating on and then little by little we'll go back and forth so you can see it. So let's see if you can get a good look. So well first we're gonna start right here, these quick release fasteners. So you got two there that we're gonna take out and then from there, we'll, re we'll remove this piece completely. And then we'll start with the five millimeter. Then we'll go down four millimeter. There's another one here. There's a couple down here. Then we also have the gas, well, yeah, we have the gas tank, which is gonna be one here. Gonna have to take this piece off right here, get up under there, pull it forward. Then there's gonna be uh, another one under here in which we take out. So another nut and bolt down there. Um, under, see if we can get a good look at these quick fasteners. All right, so here's a quick fastener. And up under, there's another one right there. And then here, we go with this one. Wish you guys can see it. There we go. So it's right there. Another one down there. And then really hard to see, but there's one right in there. I wish you guys could see that. If I can get a good. No, can't really get in there, but it's down there. Then we'll come on this side and then just repeat the same process. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get in this.
forgot to tell you guys, there's a black hex bolt that's on the inside. Let's take a look at it. If you forget about it, you'll be there all day. Uh, let's see if I... Right there. Now, let's give you guys a quick outside. This is, uh, it's like six o'clock in the afternoon. We're on where I live at. North Pole, Alaska. Yeah. All right, so back at it. Back to it. So yeah. Remove that black hex bolt. Because if not, you'll be there all day long. Trying to figure out why is it that you can't. Trying to figure out why can't you get it out. having a hard time right now trying to pull it out or push it out. Let's see, where is it? Where is it stuck on? The last time I had kind of like the same issue. There we go. It an R6, baby. All right, so now we got one half off. Place this off to the side, all the way back here. Make it. So, uh, some pieces that we're gonna need. Go 
those here. This one. This one. Right there. There we go. Okay. All right. So here go both of them. Can't really lose these fasteners. side. Well this came out the left side so let's put it with the left side. Alright so let's work on taking this tank off. Up with the five millimeter, we'll take the seat off, put it off to the side. More room to work with. I'm not sure how I'm going to keep track of all this stuff. Mm, maybe by like a tackle box or something. I don't know, but I'm taking it apart. I'm not sure to who told me this was a good idea, but I'm just going for it. Having a 
a bit of technical difficulties. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I loosened a whole bunch of stuff on the gas tank, but I'm gonna save that for afterwards. I'm gonna let's go ahead and take this side off first. And sorry for the lighting. It's just I'm not turning the whole bike around. So um, let me get back into it. I've actually never taken this side off. No need to. Well, haven't had a need to. Provide yourself with some type of padding for when you're working on this. This is, it may seem like it's really thin, but any type of space in between yourself and the ground helps. So, I have to go get this real fast. Just the wife making all that. No big deal. As I said, right now we're um, literally tomorrow. They come pick everything up. So this is my last thing to do. Um, she's just doing the rest of the stuff of like, I guess tying up a last couple of few um, loose ends that she has. Side number two is off. What have I done? All right. All right, so, gas tank. We have, hold on, let me turn you guys around. So, you have this piece right about there. Right about there, right? Take, Take that screw off right there. Then, in this area here, you're going to find yourself with an 8 millimeter bolt. That guy right there. He is found here. Which I took him off with my 8 millimeter socket. Right, pull that off. That's done. There's a another bolt hex bolt right there. Pull that off with my five millimeter, and it's that guy right there that you find just hanging out here. Right, then. You gotta have to go up under the bike, kind of, sorta, and you'll pull this guy from right here. You'll pull him from right. Uh, let me get in there, right there. Pull him out, both sides. So I still have not gotten to the point on how to pull this off. 
But this tank comes up. Once I get these lines, which run down here, I'll take them off from here, unbuckle these. Then in here, you're gonna see, I can, uh, that's where the lines are running through that metal hanger right there, if you will. Then I'll take this bad boy off right here. And I'm pretty sure up under here, you have some um, cables and stuff, plugs that plug it in. So, little by little, I'll run you through it. But so far, I guess the big thing I'm scared to do is these cables right here, these tank, these lines. But if I just pull them through, I should be good. So, we're gonna test that theory out right now. All right guys, so we're back. And this is what it looks like so far. So yes, I removed both sides of the fairings. The gas tank is gone. I'm not sure if I want to take this rear part off. I haven't made my mind up yet because it's too much electrical wires to deal with right there. But when it comes to the gas tank, there's these two plugs. Which one is going to be the fuel? Hold on, let's get this right. One is going to be the fuel line, which is right there. And oops. Yep, put that there. We don't want no fuel just hanging out. And then this one right here, plug, which is the injector, if I'm not mistaken. Almost certain. So next thing I'll have to do is disconnect the battery and whatnot because I can't have the battery connected. But here go the two bolts I was talking to you guys about. They're both four millimeter. And then here you have one long bolt, which is right there so and here's the tank or here's half of the tank right there which i removed this one has two screws right there one and two and those are going to be connected right here one and two so pretty much goes like so right then you take those two once you uh all right, so once you unscrew, once you unscrew the, uh, the seat right here, once you, uns once you unscrew that, you can pull it all, well, you can, once you unscrew this, you can pull it all the way up, but you can take it off and then you can get down to here. So here go the, the lines right there. There's the injector. And here's the fuel line. So I'm just having a having that there just in case. And that towel there just in case. So I have to empty out the fuel tank. So other than that, I'm not sure if I want to take this part off right here. I haven't decided because it's kind of looks like I'm gonna have to get that bolt right. See if you guys can get that right there. Get that bolt right there and maybe some other ones that I can't see right now. So, not too certain, but I know this one is gonna be one. I don't wanna to dig too far into it. <laughs> this is what she looks like so far. 2017 Yamaha R6. Almost stripped down to the bone. Look at that. Almost stripped down to the bone. So, yep. All right, so I thought I was done until I went to disconnect the battery. Then I looked at the wings and I was like, hmm, let me go ahead and take those things off. And uh, I did. So in order to take those off, you're going to take this rear seat, the seat cowl off. Then you're gonna have one, two, three bolts to take off. They're, uh, I think five millimeter if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me double check right here. This is it. The four. So they're four. And then 
once I took that off, I had to take the pegs off with a six, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, with a six in order to, I had to take, loosen this one up, take this one completely off, turn it in order to get a fastener off. Here's my next door neighbor on his Harley over there. There he is, can't really get a good thing in there. But um, yeah, so I had to take, loosen this six millimeter, take this six millimeter all the way off, turn it out, and then get this fastener off. So in, so to, to sum it up, you have one, two, three, uh, four millimeters, and then you have a two six millimeters, and then you have a fastener. Then you'll take it off, and she looks like this. So I thought I was done, but, you know, keep going and going. So, yeah, I'm not going to take the front off. It's too much electronics that I don't really want to get into. Way too much. So, that's what she looks like. And there's every piece right there. There are all the pieces. There you go. Cruising R6, R6, tank, seat, fairings, and the actual tank right there. And the showy helmet's already packed up. I'll be doing a review on that showy helmet once I get over there. So, I really like it a lot, actually. Showy RF1200. So. Bam. That's the one I like. All right, so this time I'm, I'm really out, I'm really gone. So I just wanted to come back and show you guys some more of the stuff that I've done and pretty much so you can see what the bike looks like now. After I've taken everything that I can take off without losing the bike, without damaging or just losing myself when I get over there. Cause it's gonna take about, mm, they say up to 90 days, but who knows, it can be less than that. But anything after that, they still, it still can't be. So I've, took, I've taken everything off. What I also did was I kind of put tape. I taped everything. So there, the bolts are under there. And so I just put the bolts right back in where they were. And uh, just so I can remember where everything goes, you know what I mean? Because after 90 days, I'm going to have to watch this video a few times. If not, So, and then right here is the gas nozzle right there. So yeah, that's it. This is what she looks like and this is what they will take her tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think about me taking my 2017 Yamaha R6 apart for PCS purposes. And yeah, this is it couple more days 34 more days in Alaska and then we'll be out in uh, Grafenbeer Germany so you guys out there in Germany I'll be looking you guys up so we can probably do a uh, um, do a dual vlog or anything like that go riding around and whatever so go ahead and uh, like share subscribe and remember SOB stay stressed obsessed and blessed with life cruising R6 out.